Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and once again, super happy to be here on this stage for more than one reason. First of all, I won't, I'll forget this at the end, so I'll start off um, at the start only. Uh, the organizing committee of TEDx, the teachers, students, and the hospitality is par excellence. So please give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little conscious today, though it's my second speech at TEDx, I'm a little conscious because uh, I've got uh, teachers, my teachers, who are now staring at me in the first couple of rows, principals, everything, and I'm not used to it. I'm the one who usually gives the stares, as the students will know. So I'm going to be a little well-behaved today. Um, since it's my second TEDx, I thought I'd come a little more prepared than the last time. Uh, so I made my presentation in the car on the way. Okay? So... Um, it's, I hope, yeah, so the timer is up. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, welcome. Um, I've termed the presentation, Life's a Jam, um, in more ways than one, which you'll know a little shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, I was, supposed, I was called here as an impromptu speaker, so I've not come prepared with anything. The presentation has a lot of literature for you to read while I speak. Okay? What makes life a jam? Articulation. It is so important to articulate what you have to say. When I'm in office, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, through this presentation, you guys are going to realize what a jam is. I've done something a little different this time. So through this presentation, you're going to realize what a jam actually is. Also through this presentation, you will know how exciting slash boring my life actually is. Yeah? So when I say life's a jam, this we're talking about my life over here. So articulation. When I, when I say articulation, it is so important to articulate properly that if someone in office comes and says, Hormaz, I want a box, I will write back to him saying, sure, color. Then he writes back saying, brown, sure, Pantone shade. He writes back saying, this Pantone shade number seven, great. Then I say, size, seven by seven, great. Inches, centimeters, diameter, feet, like that. So the articulation of a brief is of utmost importance in communication. Any falter here or there would cause life to become a jam. Simple articulation. No problem. Next, does anyone know who these people are? Yeah, these are the Beatles. Uh, in fact, yesterday was John Lennon's uh, death anniversary. The Beatles are a very important part of my life and they should become a very important part in your life as well because the Beatles have taught us so much. Um, because I followed the Beatles so much, an opportunity came knocking at my door to, from Silly Point Productions to take part in the Beatles tribute. As a result of which, we've done more than 50 shows across the world celebrating the Beatles, singing their songs, etc., etc. So the Beatles... I know it's terribly out of context over here, but please start reading about the Beatles and listening to their songs. It's important, okay? Um, move away from... Um, a Cinderella. Who's that dude? Move away. Start following the Beatles, okay? Next. Communication. Ladies and gentlemen, it is so important to communicate well. A lot of people have a lot of information over here. Guys, you will be very uh, surprised to know that I've studied uh, immunology and genetic engineering from this college on the fourth floor. People, uh, when I go on the fourth floor, people say, Sir, are you lost? The auditorium is down. No, I've studied it. The problem is a lot of people know a lot of things, but they don't know how to communicate it. So, gone are the days of knowing things. Now, in interviews, people say, okay, we know, we know you know your stuff, so pigeonhole it and communicate it in a right way. So, I may know the dictionary from A to Z, but putting it forth in that 30-second elevator pitch or in that one-minute interview is of utmost importance. So, communication. Coming back to jam. Dramatization. Ladies and gentlemen, in a jam, dramatization is not allowed. So, you may want to speak in however animated a way as you want, but you cannot do that. So, in a jam, you say, oh my God. You don't say, oh my God. No, you don't do that. Uh, you, you speak in a jam, you speak as if two guys were speaking, two men were speaking. For example, hi, how are you? 
not how two young girls uh, in college who are speaking just after they finished a lecture. Oh my God, hi, how was the lecture? Biology. Mm. That's not allowed in a jam. Okay, understood? So no drama allowed in a jam. No, that is not me. <laughs> Guys, uh, there's a timer on, I have to finish in this much time. Okay. Life's a jam, but um, whenever I do my shows on stage, uh, I was doing a, a show called Gandhi the Musical, and yes, no, I was not Gandhi in Gandhi the Musical, <laughs> but I was doing a, a show called Gandhi the Musical at NCPA, and I was with a huge ensemble of singers. There were like 20 singers who could, si and they could sing, huh? they were singers. I had a nine to five, my bad, nine to nine job. Uh, and I used to come and I used to try to sing. My director, who's also an uh, alumnus from this college, Danish Kambata, um, he came and he said, listen, don't sing. You're not good at it. Do what you're good at, entertain. So ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman is my role model because, let's face it, he's not the best singers, yeah? But he's an entertainer. He's a dinchak puja. <laughs> yeah? At the end of the day, why do people call my band for their shadis? You can contact me on 982. Why do people call my band for shadis and not anyone else? It's not that we can sing better than... It's because we're all-round entertainers. We entertain. Okay. Fun. It is so important to have fun in whatever you... Why have they put a... F you, I, sorry, I outsourced the presentation to my team. Um, so, the, it's so important to have fun in whatever you do. Um, I was at uh, my grand... I loved my grandmother more than anything else in this world. I was at my grandmother's funeral, and my close friends were with me in a line, and um, all of us sitting together in the third row, and my grandmother's body is lying over there, and we were like mourning while the prayers were going on. And one of them said, listen, I said, huh, who would object last for late start if we had a jam over here? This is in the middle of prayers. So I said, I don't know, You're mad or what, keep quiet, who? So he said, your grandmother. <laughs> I swear, it's a true story. Then the 10 of us have laughed, and we laughed. We la <laughs> nice, nice, nice. This is about six years, but we laughed. The, the irony is the people at the back said, how sweet, his friends are also crying for his grandma. And we were laughing away. So have fun in whatever you do. Even if it's at a funeral, just go, don't disrupt the proceed, but have fun in what you do. Okay, this is my first band. This is called Groove Garden. Groove Garden is the band that does all English set lists, okay, that most of you will not be entertained with. So this is the English band. I'm going to whiz past this really fast. Okay, so for me, life is all about humility. Um, I came to this college and I, I walked the talk. So I came to this college, I met... JPG, I met Sanjuji, I met the Watchmen, I met everyone, everyone, and I know them by their names. I also know your TED team backstage by their names. It's very important to be like a bamboo plant, to grow as tall as it, but it always bows down in humility. So it's always, humility is so important, and this college has taught me so much about humility that you have no, and I visit all, all the colleges across the country, but there is no college like this college in, in, in humility. So, be a bamboo shoot. Oh, inter-college festivals, inter-college and inter-school festivals. So, I started, of course, I started uh, Illenium, I started Immaculata, I, start, I mean, I still continue We Are The World, which got over last week, Vogue, etc., etc., etc. A lot of people say, why? Yeah? It's because I'm selfish. It's because I learned so much from these inter-college and inter-school festivals that you have no idea. There are abbreviations that you guys teach me that I go to uh, office and I say, and people are like, wow, you're so cool. For example, um, who's got the, just now, who's got the TOA, T-O-A? 
So I was like, what's T? It's to, bro. It's to. It's T O E. No, T O E. Token of appreciation. And I'm going to use this in office with my boss. And I'm going to say, have you got the T O E? And he's going to say, no, what's I'm going to say, token of appreciation. And he's going to say, wow. So these inter school and inter college festivals teach you not just abbreviations, but they teach you how to manage time, how to manage your life. So that's my inter college experience. I'm not going to get into it. You already know what I do. Hmm. Jam. Speaking for one minute on a topic given to you without stammering or stuttering in proper Queen's English, without the use of any minor or major objections. I've already covered a couple of objections in the jam, but a jam is it's a way of life. A lot of people say, "What is jam? We've heard so much about it. Can you tell us?" It's what you do while talking to your mom or your dad or your husband or your wife or your sister. It's it's life is a jam. Now, the difference between this jam and the other jams, you see, this is a normal brain, but this is the brain of someone who jams. Yeah, it's twisted, completely twisted. This is someone who goes to a gym and comes out from the gym all pumped. This is someone who walks into a jam, wins the jam, and comes out as a winner. Do you understand? When you win a jam, it's like winning a Nobel Prize. It's like getting a PhD. It's like achieving, like it's like finding the cure to cancer. Do you understand? That's what winning the jam is all about. <laughs> People who speak with normal English. The way jammers speak, Queen's English. No, that is not my grandmother, but uh, <laughs> just because I'm Parsi, you know. Uh, so yeah, so normal English, and that is people who jams English. Okay. Hmm. You have to have a killer sense of humor. You have to have a killer sense of humor to survive in today's world. For example, if I give you a topic and you're going to get offended by it. Then, a, then life's not a jam for you. Then life is your normal, mundane life. Go to office, get home your uh, six lakh salary per month, uh, and come home and spend it and go to sleep. That's your normal life. Now, if I tell you a topic which is, uh, do not drink and drive, you might hit a speed a speed breaker and spill your drink. There's so much more to that topic than drinking and driving, right? It's so it's so important not to drink and drive. Uh, number two, um, two antennae got married. Um, the wedding was okay, but the reception was excellent. <laughs> How do you test the gender of an ant? Put it in water. If it sinks, girl ant. If it floats, boy ant. Humor. Have a killer sense of humor, and to have a killer sense of humor, you need to read. Okay. Let's start, ladies and gentlemen. In a jam, as soon as the jam master says your time starts now, you start speaking immediately. Otherwise, it is called a late start. Multitasking. It is so important to multitask in today's day and age. As I, I told you, this presentation was made while I was on my way to the venue. I did it. It's, it's dangerous, yeah. But let's face it, I did it. Okay, I did it. Um, I wasn't drinking and driving. Um, so it's so important to multitask. Whenever a, a time is given to me, I'm eventually late. Un, un, unlike today, I'm eventually late because there is so much happening. You go from one rehearsal to perform on stage. You need to rehearse. So you rehearse. You go from one rehearsal to another. There's drama. There's play practice. There's dance practice. There's singing. There's vocal practice. There's office work. There's some of there's some of my wives at home. It's so. <laughs> it's it's so much, so much in so little time that it's so important to multitask. Someone H I J K L M N. No smoking, and no drugs. That's my principle always. So no drugs, and that's the chain smokers, by the way. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> so no smoking and no drugs, and it's so important, guys. 
uh, if you've seen any of my videos on stage where I'm singing, uh, my parents often ask me, did you take drugs before going up? And I say, no. Then where is that energy coming from? That's why I'd like to introduce your energy drink sponsor. Um, <laughs> So, no smoking, no drugs, and very, 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 very limited alcohol. That too, only when I get hurt is when you put it on an injury. But otherwise, <laughs> none of the above, and that'll, that'll give you success in life. You have to trust me with this one, nothing else. Trust me. So that's, that's important. This is, this, is, this is what's kept me going for the past 10 years. Uh, I head corporate communication at Eureka Forbes. This is my office. This is my nine-to-nine -nine job. Uh, I enjoy it. When I'm in office, it's office work. When I'm at band, it is band work. When I'm at theater, it is theater work. When I'm outside chilling, it is chilling. But your nine to nine, this is my bread and butter. This is Eureka Forbes. I hope everyone has an aqua guard at home. Please only drink water from an aqua guard. This is being recorded so my boss can see this later. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. In a jam, you are not allowed to plagiarize what anyone says. For example, um, uh, the quality of mercy is twice blessed. Blessed he who giveth and he who receiveth. This was written by Shakespeare, so you guys are not allowed to. There is only one Shakespeare, and there is only one Annu Malik. <laughs> Up next, we have uh, the Queen. So this is Queen's English. You are only allowed to speak in Queen's English in a jam. It is not can't, it's cannot, it's not shouldn't, it should not, it's not didn't, it's did not, it's not wouldn't, it's would not, it's not it's, it's, it is, it is not I'm, it is I am. There is no bro, it is brother, there is no sis, it is sister, there's no mum, it is mother, there's no pop, it is popcorn. So, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, that's Queen's English only. This is important, this is, this, is my, this is my other hobby. This is Raga Magic. We started this band in the lockdown, and I can very proudly say, I'm not going to disclose, but on Monday, we have a, I'm not allowed to disclose, NDA signed, but we, we're performing at a celebrity wedding, uh, celebrity reception on Monday. The wedding is over. Put two and two together. So that's my band, and it just shows you that with a little bit of hard work, a little bit of hard work, and a little bit of talent, we can form a band, and we're doing three shows a week, ladies and gentlemen. Three shows a week. PQRS, my favorite. Uh, speech defect. In a jam, you are not allowed to stammer or stutter. There are no, uh, uh, so it's, I love you. K -k 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 Kid, that's, not, that's not allowed in a jam. Unfortunately, Shah Rukh Khan would have failed that jam uh, miserably. So you have to speak absolutely properly without any speech defects, continuously. This is important. Time wasting. Uh, for me, sleep is a waste of time. Uh, Gustav Graves in one of his movies said, you live life but once, why waste it on sleep? I kind of agree. It's different that I sleep a lot these days, but the weather is such. Um, but sleep for me is a waste of time because I know the body heals, I know, etc. My parents have told me enough. But if, if I had that much extra time, four hours extra in a day, I could, have probably, I could have probably found the cure to cancer by now, right? So it's so important that you use every second. So in a jam, time wasting is not allowed. You cannot say the rainbow has seven colors, violet, indigo, blue. That's not important. Yeah? Clear? Great. Life's a jam because it is so important to be unpredictable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment your enemy, or op I don't have enemies, just kidding, uh, the moment your opponents find out your next move, your battle is lost there and then. The moment our com competition says that, okay, AquaGuard is going to, Eureka Forbes is going to do this the next, we are finished. So you have to be extremely, extremely unpredictable with your next move. Do you understand? So life is all about unpredictability. Voice. Voice is... So before coming on stage, I said, do you want me to talk in my masculine voice? Or do you want me to say, hi, guys? So they said, talk in the masculine voice. So I was unpredictable, I did absolutely the opposite. Yeah, that's life. 
By voice, I don't mean this voice. By voice, I mean voice your opinions. Be vocal about things that are wrong and stand up for the things that are right. I practice this day in and day out. If there is something wrong, if I made a mistake and I have skipped a signal and I'm caught by the police, I will take out the money and give it as a bribe. <laughs> but if I have not done it, you have to. If there's a crowd of people around me, that's me fighting. I didn't do it. I am Parsi. I am Parsi. That, what that means, he says, to kya? that fellow said, yes, I am Maharashtrian. <laughs> it was the most random conversation, but the bottom line is, I voice, my, be vocal about things that are right. Um, yeah, so, uh, who made him a teacher is, this, is the expression. I teach, ladies and gentlemen, um, and it's so important to, again, to teach, because teaching gives you so much of knowledge that you don't know existed. For example, this whole cancel culture that we're having these days. I, I don't believe in it, but you know, you're made aware of it. Um, teaching also helps you think out of the box. Well, you know what, for me, there is no box. It teaches you lateral thinking. When I teach, and I teach at multiple colleges across the city of Bombay, um, and at many IIMs across the country, at these colleges, they say, what are you going to teach? And I say, Oh, okay, got it. And I say, I'm teaching life. So ladies and gentlemen, my topic is life that I teach. X, always have the X factor. Y, always say yes for everything, no matter what. Always say yes. Even if you think it is not possible, say yes. It'll happen. Just say yes. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. The distance doesn't matter. The first step is what counts. So say yes, things will fall into place. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 